going to have a young man that I know, his name is Jerome Berry, and he, our young brother that has all the conviction, um, lives his life and purpose before we start, because Kwame is a participatory thing. So I wanted him to come in and say a poem, or give us some words about purpose, what purpose we need him. Um, and I've seen him because he uh, came as a young boy to a very great college called Billings University. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> and I want him to just talk to us about purpose and what that is. But normally, in true African custom, we would ask the elders of the community can't be stopped. So I would like to ask my elder, Baba Luther, if I can proceed in, uh, in this ceremony, in this program, if I can proceed. So I'm asking you to share. You know, you just walk there. Again. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> so yes, we can proceed. So I want to um, turn it over to Jerome Bailey, um, and you know he's a he's an author. He's a, I'm gonna let you explain all that. Come on, Jerome. Come, come on, on Jerome. Right. 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 So glad to be here with y'all. Thank you for having me. Thank you, President Lee. Uh, you have permission to speak? Yeah, yeah. We be good. Everybody, God, yeah. we good. All right. Make sure to respect the OG. So um, uh, to me, you know, first as Malik was saying, I'm an author, um, I'm a journalist, I have a background in TV news, um, video, photography. I do a lot of these like trade different things, right? Some things that I learned how to do, some things that I grew into. But the thing about purpose um, is that none of those things actually define me, right? And the things that we do in our jobs, they are not who we are. And a lot of times we could be in environments where we could be uh, feel judged, so we can feel like people are pretentious, or um, or people ask you, "What do you do?" before they even know your name, just to see how much respect they're going to go and decide to give you something, right? Um, and the thing about it is, jobs come and go, money come, money comes and goes, but your purpose is right. right? Why you're here and why people remember you, uh, and how you make people feel, and the impact you made is what lasts. So for me, um, why that's important, and that goes into this poem is. This is the book that I wrote, it's called Liberation. I have a few copies if you uh, are interested after we, uh, after this poem and stuff. Um, and it's a poetry book and I, never, I didn't sit out, I didn't say, oh, it's time for me to write a book now. It was, I was going through some things in my life with God where, you know, I wanted to live with God in purpose. I didn't want to just go do the roundabout, the everyday, just, oh, I, I went to church, I did this, I did that. I needed to know how can God be real for me in my life? So I went on this journey, and the thing that's so interesting about purpose is, for me, while I spent so many years trying to climb up this ladder and getting accolades, accomplishments, these things, trying to keep God connected to this purpose, it wasn't until I went back down the ladder, all the way down, to my face on the ground, to when I found why I was supposed to be here. So uh, the poem is called uh, Wilderness, and wilderness is where I was. It was the place where I went to therapy, I started uh, exploring traumas. I started to explore things that I went through in my life uh, beyond whatever I um, justified to get through the day. Whatever I did in autopilot just to make it through. So um, the poem Wilderness was written in a place where I just was really, I lost my mind, right? And through losing my mind, I was actually able to gain an authentic relationship with God because he then met me there, and now I gave him something to work with because I didn't try to be God of myself. I let God be God to me. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. First Peter 5 and 8. Trying to devour me. You're not who you pretend to be. You play like a friend of me, but really you're my enemy, demon. God. I guess it's time to kill me. Shine your light to the real me. Are you real? We'll see. Demon. I can feel him coming after me. Made to be a masterpiece, now the devil after me. Demon. You run when the light is beaming. My own eyes are gleaming at it. I saw the light. Then the dark things. Generational curses are purging out of my offspring. I thought I was perfect. But deep down, I always thought I was undeserving. I hate me. 
So I couldn't believe that a guy would love me. Because I'm a lovable. Trauma don't know my purpose. They say I'm filthy when I hear sermons, but can you heal me? I said I'm a lovable. Trauma don't know my purpose. They say I'm filthy when I hear sermons, but can you heal me? I'm praying. You ain't requiring a doubt, because I'm the lion. Tougher than I am. This ain't Judah, more Judas. I've been lying, you knew this. God, you're taking me through this. Why? Why? Because my pride is big. And my lion's den, I'm lying in. This my jungle. Dangerous and violent. I scream, you silent. This my biggest giant. I call him Goliath. I said, show me a sign. You showed me the light. It was Walgreens on a dark night with a hard fight. And it was dark bright. Like David, this giant is coming after you. Demons all over you, told you to change your attitude. And that's when God said, it's not about you. I just want to make it clear. Your life's a living hell, but it changes in a year. Wilderness. Thank y'all for having me. All right. All right. All right.